To start off your Tinkercad design, students will need to go to www.tinkercad.com and then click on the button that says Sign In. Once they've signed in with their credentials, they will see a screen similar to this. They'll come to this button here that says Create New Design. This blank template will show up on their screen and we'll make it a little bit smaller so we can see. They should also get this option over here on the side that says Shape Generators. What I like to do is mostly focus on the geometric ones. Now, while they're making their windmill, what they want to start off with is they scroll down and they come down here to the paraboloid. We're going to click and drag it. And how we move around the different objects that we place is they have squares on the corners and they also have this option here that's shaped like a cylinder or cone and that will make it longer or that will move it up the grid. If we want to make it longer we come here to this square at the very top and that will make it taller. Now this is going to be the base of our windmill. So we can move this down and one option too that I want to encourage students is to make sure that they are moving the screen up and down. See, I moved it down and I realized that it was not actually on the bottom of the grid. So I want to come to this arrow pointing down and I can move it to the very bottom of the grid. And then we'll check it from all angles just to make sure that we have it correct when working with 3D design. Now, I don't want my base to be this big and so I'm going to draw it in. So now let's check the angles again. Now once I've come to this side I realize that I, by pulling it in I've made one side bigger than the other and so I want it to be a little bit more cone-like. So I'm going to pull it around, just double check some of the angles just to see what it might look like. Okay, our next step is we want to create the base for the blades. We have the base for the windmill, but we want the base for the blades now. So we're going to come to the cylinder here on the side. And we're going to click and drag it onto the grid. Let's get a better view of it by shifting around the view. And I want to tilt it down to about 90 degrees. You can tell that it says 90 degrees right down there at the bottom. And now I'm going to adjust it so that it's right up against the base. So I just kind of move it around. And so it's lined up on this side, but let's check the other angle. See there's that big space right there. We want to push it back just to make sure. See it's perfectly lined up on this side. And now we want to push it back a little bit more so that it is actually in the center of the base of the windmill. So now let's bring up the cylinder to the very top and we have the base of our blades. So now this is what we should have at the very top. And another option that you have is it tells you it automatically gives each geometric shape a color if you want to change that color, you come here to the inspector, you click on color, and you can change whatever shape to whatever color you want it to be. Now, if I wanted to have all of the things I have on the grid the same color, I could click and drag to select both shapes. I would click on color, and it would change both of them to the same color. But just for design's sake, we want them to be different colors. All right, so I'm going to make the base of this purple, and we will make the base of the blades orange. We need to have the center of the blades, and so we will get another cylinder, but this time we're going to make it a little bit smaller. We will get it to 90 degrees. 
this is where it gets a little bit tricky adjusting the angles. So now we want it to be smaller, so I'm going to bring it in from this side. But now you can tell that it's a little bit off now. So I'm going to bring it in on this angle just to make sure it keeps that circle shape. And then one more time, just a little bit smaller. It doesn't have to be these exact measurements, but it needs to be around this same size. So very small. And then, let's see what adjust it. Let's make it yellow so we can tell the difference. Now this is going to go on the other cylinder, the orange cylinder. So we're going to adjust it. Actually, it needs to be the other direction. We'll adjust it this way. And then, that will make it easier to line up. We're going to move it to the base, or to the center of the orange cylinder. So let's get it lined up. And bring it all the way straight up. And it should be in the center of the orange cylinder. And it could be a little bit off. Let's try and adjust it so it's right there in the center of it, kind of poking out. We want to make sure that these two are connected. So now we have what our base can spin on. Now what we're missing uh, for our windmill is we need to have the blades. So let's go over here to the side and we will go back to the paraboloid shape and we're going to adjust it a little bit more. We're going to bring it in and make it more of a blade type shape. So we need to make it long and skinny. Make it long, but still manage to keep its shape. Now that's still a little bit too wide. It looks a little bit like a shark fin right now. We don't want it to look quite like that. Hmm. All right, so we've got about those measurements. So it needs to be around this size. It does not have to be exact. So now what I want to do, I don't want to have to redo this for, we want to make three blades, but what I don't want to do is have to redo this every single time. So once I have my one blade, we want to have three blades, but I don't want to have to redo this two more times in order to get three and have to measure it exactly and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my blade, my one blade, I'll come up here to the button that says edit, and I'll press duplicate. And that should give me two. Now I'm going to press duplicate again. And voila, I have three blades. Now we want to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to color this blade green, this blade blue, and this blade red. Now what we want to do is we want to align them so that they are on the yellow cylinder. So we're going to raise them up. Let's get it right underneath. It just makes it easier. And we will lift it up. Okay, this one's going to go at the very top. And now the next step is we want to add the other two blades to the yellow cylinder. So we come to this blue one. We are going to adjust it underneath. We'll raise it up. That's not exactly how a windmill works, so we want it to tilt it to its side. Let's tilt it. Probably about, let's say, 70. Let's get it right lined up, right underneath that yellow cylinder. And overlap the two. It takes a little bit of adjusting, moving it back and forth.
And there you have it. So we have our second blade. Now we need our third blade. Line it up underneath. And then shift it down. Now we're going to check our angles. Let's get that lined right up in the middle. You don't want any of the blades too close to each other because then it won't work as effectively. And there we go. So now we have the blades lined up. And there you have it. Now we have our blades all lined up. To make our windmill. So this is the basic design of what a windmill needs to look like. And our options now are we can have it printed out for 3D printing or use it as a basis for our design for our windmill. And now the next step is we want to add the other two blades to the yellow cylinder. So we come to this blue one, we are going to adjust it underneath. See, right underneath, we can always change later. We probably want it to be about right here. Now, we'll raise it up be about even with that blue one but that's not exactly how a windmill works so we want it to tilt it to its side let's tilt it probably about let's say 70 let's get it right lined up right underneath that yellow cylinder and overlap the two. It takes a little bit of adjusting, moving it back and forth. And now let's check our angles. Looks like we need to scoot it over a little bit more. And there you have it. So we have our second blade. Now we need our third blade. Line it up underneath. It's a little bit too far over, so we're going to take it. And then shift it down. Always just like to overlap them. And 
Now we're going to check our angles. Let's get that lined right up in the middle. And there you have it. Okay, now I want to get these maybe a little bit more. So now all it takes is just a little bit of adjusting and making sure that these are evenly spaced out. You don't want any of the blades too close to each other because then it won't work as effectively. And there we go. So now we have the blades lined up. There's a nice even space in between those. It doesn't necessarily matter too much. And there you have it. Now we have our blades all lined up. To make our windmill. So this is the basic design of what a windmill needs to look like. And our options now are we can have it printed out for 3D printing or use it as a basis for our design for our windmill.